I'm down heading for Bangor, but I've called in at Helen's Bay to video the remarkable train station here. And I was watching uh, one of fellow YouTuber Prone John his video of Helms Bay Railway Station and the surroundings and it says boy that looks good and here it is now you're saying to yourself what's remarkable about this this railway station well just look at it it's uh, it's not your average railway station it's built in the Scottish baronial style look at the, the turret there and it was built it was built in 1863 no less well, you could tell that even by looking at it and it was built by Lord Dufferin who owned the land and of course that's uh, Lord Dufferin of the Clandy Boy estate and oh, here's a wee plaque National Railway Heritage Award <coughs> oh dear the Railway Heritage uh, Trust Conservation Award presented to Deborah Harper Makeup and Beauty for Helens Bay Station by Lord Grossman, OBE FSA 2013. So, um, Deborah Harper Makeup and Beauty are, 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 uh, have premises here and have obviously refurbished the building and it looks very well. So, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the place, the place has charm and it has, it has character and it has architecture and there's a, a walkway down here as well and I'll get onto that hopefully. And the, the trains here run every half an hour from uh, Bangor to Belfast and it says trespassers will be prosecuted there so better not go down there it might be dangerous <coughs> well Holmes Bay railway station and uh, I presume that's a different family crest maybe, I don't know, I presume that, but then I presume a lot of things, <laughs> sometimes they're wrong. And there's a subway to get you over from there to there. And the, the building back there it's like something out of a Harry Potter movie. No places like that. Especially if I can get down to show you under the bridge. I think you get the gist of this place. Now, the train has just come in and gone, so 
just missed that. Oh, just panning round slowly. An aeroplane crossing. Right, we'll head down in here. Trains to Belfast via the subway. See where this takes us. Takes you to Helms Bay Beach and Crawford's Burn Country Park. And apparently <coughs> the Dufferins had their own special entrance into Helms Bay Station and they had their own special waiting room <laughs> so that they didn't have to sit with the plebs and here is a magnificent family crest this is very Harry Potterish How are you doing? Are you a volunteer? Or are you? I am. You are. My goodness I'm gracious! Secretary of the Residents Association. For right. Medicine. Right. You're filming a historic uh, absolutely heritage. Eh? Yes. What, what brings you here? Oh, I'll, I'll tell you what brings me here. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, an obsessive uh, YouTuber. Right. Right. So I'm. Um, uh, this is this is just amazing. This is. Um, 18, 1863, Lord no, 18, 1853. 1853. <laughs> because you see, the railway line came, I mean, I know all this because I've written the history of things. Oh, good. Um, so, um, hey, you can buy me books. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, interesting, this was the carriage drive from Clandiby House down to the sea, which was built in 1853, and the railway line only came here in 1863, opened in 1865, so the station dates from 63, 64. Right. Um, but, but, but there are two or three of these bridges have dates on them of 1853 or 1854, the one up there at Red Bridge, and I think this one as well. Right. So it's fascinating. And history, uh, can, can I have your name? With I'm it? Robin Macefield. And you have written a book about this? I, I've written a couple of books, uh, well, edited for, with others. Um, yes. So the first was Twix Bay and Burn, which is the history of Helen's Bay and Crawford's Burn. Now go slowly, Twix. <laughs> Bay Twixt. and Burn. Exactly. Yes. Right. And then the second one was the history of the railway line from Hollywood to Bangor, right. uh, which was opened in 1865. And that's uh, be careful, don't rush travelling between 150 years of travelling between Hollywood and, and Bangor. Where could, uh, if someone watch my, watches my video and, yes. and sees this, uh, where could they purchase your books? Well, certainly they could get them online at Colourpoint. Dot, uh, ooh, right. Go UK or whatever it is. Right, okay. I mean, through, through Amazon, we'd Amazon. To get them to, to right, get point. on. But to be fair, sadly, the, the first one, Twix Bay and Burn, is very difficult to obtain. It's, it's out of print. out of print. There are occasional copies, but. Uh, and that it makes it. Uh, yes, 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 price. yes, I would imagine. That. That's what happens. So, uh, That's yes, what so, happens. So we sell them all to, to raise money for charities, local charities. We would do with all the profits. Oh, great. Great. Given them for My goodness, this is, this is fabulous. This is fabulous. And uh, what else can you tell me about uh, this locality then? Well, really, Helens Bay was, as you say, a, a sort of village that there was hardly anything here at all before the coming of the railway. And of course, in those days, the Belfast and County Down Railway, which took it over from the Belfast, Hollywood and Bangor Railway, they uh, encouraged people to come here. So you got a free season ticket for seven years 
if you built a house with a certain rateable value. Oh, John. Now, your good. wife, mind you, she still had to pay half price. <laughs> oh, right. And the kiddies, right. I think, got it for a third of the price. And these wonderful, that's the crest of arms of the Dufferin and Arva family at Clandeboy. Right. And the amazing thing is, I've got postcards from both sides, dated about 1910, before the First World War. And, and you'd think that was recent uh, decay, deterioration in the stonework, but it doesn't. Right. So a hundred years ago, it was as bad as that in terms of, so it's actually not and, got worse. Than, and they, which the, is good to know. the Dufferins went to enormous expense to do this. Huge, huge expense. Well, this, you see, was the, was the created and turning circle that you're looking at here. So we look For the carriages. For the carriages, exactly. So they would have come down two and a half miles from Clandy Boy House. They would have come here in their carriage. That was their private entrance way, which we yes, locked up now. That's right. And they would walk up their own private stairs, which is just to, to their own them. private waiting exactly, room. Exactly right. Yeah, Not to yeah. mix with the players. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> so, yes, yes. I think they even had two waiting rooms. But, you know. So, do you know the book by Harold Nicholson called Helen's Tower? I, I've been to Helen's Tower, yeah. but I don't know that the. Well, Harold Nicholson that. claimed that Dufferin was his uncle. It was something like his cousin, but right. he would have been here. Nicholson was an interesting character, a writer, and a diplomat later than life in the early part of the 20th century but he describes coming here and he describes going into the waiting room and these sort of rich arm chairs with uh, red leather and antimacassars and on them. there's no chance of the waiting room being opened up again well it's now actually run as a, as a beauty salon which oh, is it's terrific part of, it's part of that it is, oh, it right. is. So I saw it's got up. an award so up you there. need to go in sir and get a manicure or something oh, no, and no, then no, you no, get no, the, that, that would uh, break my <laughs> bank balance so it would you know <laughs> oh, no, very good uh, rates uh, oh, very oh, good. I'm sure nobody it's been beautifully done up which is great and so we're just working away here putting yeah, daffodils yeah. and bluebells yeah. and things to it's a, it's a right. So this will take me... Uh, that would take you on down to the beach, which must have been the original purpose of the visit. And there used to be a bailiff, a, 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 fellow, a water bailiff, yeah. who was a retired policeman. And you're going back now, so he wasn't in the IUC, he was in the Royal Irish Constabulary. And he was called Sergeant Green, Honey Green, and he lived in a wee cottage point house, which was down at the end here. Um, and he gave access to the beach or not. So, so that's going down to the beach. Yes. And this is going would go to absolutely straight to Clandy Boy House, House. In, in two and a half miles, three miles that way. Yep. So uh, you're obviously not allowed to go into Clandy Boy. No, sadly. No. It, turn, it so, turns off so it to turns the right off. and about one and a half miles or so. So, so it's a pleasant enough walk. Oh, it's beautiful. And that would take you up to Helen's Tower that you were describing earlier. Helen's so Tower is difficult to find. It is. It is, and, it, and the trees are now. It's quite hard to mm. see now. Oh, it's it extremely be, difficult. Yeah. And then. Then, uh, it, so would this particular bridge here have any particular name, uh, uh, you know, to differentiate it between this bridge and that bridge? That's a very good question. I, all I can tell you is that the bridge, the next one up there on the Valley Robert Road is Red Bridge, right. we would call them. We've done some work to clear back the overgrowth on that so yeah. you can see it more clearly. This was clearly put in 10 years later for the railway line in 1863, this bridge yes, would yes. have been built. But that one is, is the older one for the road going yeah. through for in the 1850s as I was saying but I've, I've never come across names for them as right. such right. What, right what I will say is that I mean you were talking about the beautiful station here yes which originally was called Clandy Boy station yeah and it was a private station originally for yeah. because there was really nobody here at that yeah, stage yeah, yeah. and they still have in Clandy Boy has the beautiful uh, designs the architectural designs done by Benjamin Ferry on linen yes he was and the architect of this he, he was, it was funny because he was actually an English ecclesiastical architect. Yes, he designed yes. over 200 churches in England. Right. Um, but he trained with Pugin, and Pugin had done railway stations in Staffordshire, and I think that was the connection. And, and Dufferin was very keen on grandiose ideas, so he wanted well, to. Well, you can a, see, you can tell. Exactly, so he wanted actually to build a chateau on Grey Point, and, and that never got built. So he had a couple of architects. One was Ferry and the other one was Byrne. And Byrne got the contract to do the uh, Helen's Tower there, having yeah. done Bangor Castle. Uh -huh. And Ferry got the wee contract to do the station, which uh, I think was consolation for not building a chateau. I wonder what if uh, would our um, uh, uh, Charles Lanyon not have been about the, at that time? He, he was around. He, he I mean, was? Lanyon was, uh, interestingly, he was actually the architect for the railway line. Well, and then That's the right. So I wonder uh, why he time. wasn't uh, yeah. brought on board. Dufferin never really used Lanyon that much, mm. I don't think. Right. Um, 
because I've come across an awful lot of his. You're right, Hollywood especially, there, mm -hmm. some of them buildings and yeah, things like that. Yeah, exactly right. Oh, he was some operator. But he was. listen. But uh, not a very popular gentleman. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I've forgotten your name again. What's your first name? Robin. Robin. Thank Mayfield. you very much, Robin. And you are uh, a conservation volunteer working for. Just with the local community, I'm the uh, Secretary of the Residents Association. Association. So, and yeah. and uh, you've stopped to talk, stopped your work to talk to uh, an old goat like me. Thank you very much it's for, for all pleasure. that information. And if you've got a dog or you've got a, a wee bicycle and kids, this is the perfect place to come for a walk. Brilliant, brilliant spot. Out of the way. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Wonderful place and a great wildlife refuge. Refuge. And on top of that, you meet some fascinating characters. And I always meet fascinating characters. Helms Bay. Clowny boy. This is a fabulous place. Stop off. Bring a picnic. Go for a walk and enjoy another one of Ulster's hidden gems.